Hey everybody, this is Leon the Star and I have some good news. Today I am releasing a very special ESX file, a modified ESX file, um, which upgrades your Cork Electripe SX. Um, normally, when you uh, upload a sample pack or ESX file to your Electripe, probably this number will not be this high because it's usually filled with samples and it's you know it fills up your electribe and since the electribe is pretty limited you will have no space anymore to add your own samples to it so what what this special ESX file has is that um, it gives you still free 254 sample slots so if you look at the samples look there are only four samples inside but at the same time you have 272 samples at your feet at your fingertips actually because we use it with our fingers and uh, on top of that um, 256 of those sounds are drum samples from the Electribe MX and the SX so it's the best of both worlds you have all the percussion sounds of the MX and the SX in one device and at the same time you have a lot of free memory for your own samples um, besides that you have like uh, a series of oscillators which you can access using the keyboard part um, after selecting a slice Um, at the same time a new feature will also be not having one sample per part no you can have 128 samples per part and you can even automate it check this out this is a kick drum usually we cannot yeah we can maybe we can change the slice but it will not be saved to our live set or whatever it's like really static but now we can use the start excuse me we have to go to all and then you see you can select samples by the start point uh, parameter. This totally changes your uh, workflow and it allows you to do much more than you would usually be able to do with your Cork Electribe. On top of that there is also some samples, uh, sorry, patterns. Um, yeah, let me just show you a bit. Do you see uh, this this is only five channels and you still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight channels for free. And I know um, probably all the people with the Electribe are for something like this. For something like this, they're using up all the channels. And I also included some tutorial patterns uh, which demonstrate how you can make pretty okay music with only two channels so this is only two keyboard parts it could also be here uh, these two parts but this is pretty um, pretty much a game changer when it comes to making music on the Electribe this one is also interesting 
So we have uh, here you can see the beat. So you hear different types of samples and it's really easy to change them. You can just adjust the start parameter. So you go to, to the step edit to start and you select the snare drum and then let's uh, pick a new snare. So if you like that it's number uh, 36, so we can do the same here, 36. And there we have the new snare. So, this is cool, but something which is even more cool is that we can change the groove on the fly. It's super easy. You just hit the record button and start playing with the start point, and it will repeat. Check this out. So this is like totally different than the normal way of making music on the Cork Electribe SX. And remember, you can do this on all the channels. So this all the music what you hear right now is only two channels. So imagine how much free space you have f to add stuff to it together with the free memory. It's it's really it's an upgrade in my opinion. Um Yeah, this was also... Every note has its own pitch, its own start point, and you can make so many things with it. And again, look at the, at the free channels. This is only... these two are being used, and you have these ones to do whatever you want, which is, I think, pretty unique. I have never seen an ESX file like this. This is an example of the oscillators. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Another feature is that it, the ESX file uh, contains unusual uh, ping pong looping or let's say extreme ping pong looping. Usually when you have a sample, the ESX will loop the last tiny bit of the sample. However, I made some modifications to the drum sounds, uh, two times 128 drum sounds, 256 drum sounds in total. Every drum sound will have a unique way of looping, which turns the drum sound into an instrument as well. For example, if you have a kick, you can make bass sounds with it, or... It's a... Uh it's super easy to make build-ups. I, I, maybe you remember this build-up. This sound. So this sounds like a like a sh a swoosh uh, sound, but it's just a a looped drum sound. So, the extreme ping-pong loops are also an extra feature which are not um, present in any other ESX file I have ever seen. So, again, it's pretty unique. It's not only a sample kit which uh, leaves you still with a lot of free memory, it's also um, 
very, very uh, compact and very, uh, yeah, lots of samples. It's, uh, I think it's really worth your time and, um, yeah, I think I covered everything. Also remember, uh, this is uh, the Electribrary Volume 2, the ESX file, which I'm putting up for sale. And um, also remember that the first um, the first Electribrary ESX file is for free. Volume 1 is for free. Check this out. You can just... Here it is. I will put up a link below so you can uh, download it. Um, this one is really handy. It ha also has a lot of looped samples inside. And... Well, let's see. Four. You can also just import it into your uh, project and it doesn't make any sound. Anyways, make sure you check that out as well and um, I hope you um, like the video and uh, yeah, if you like my music just uh, like my SoundCloud and Facebook and uh, if you have any tips or suggestions, let me know. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.